Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I have a cracking little movie today for you and it is called The Voices and it is directed by uh, Marjan Satrapi and it stars Ryan Reynolds, Gemma Arterton and Anna Kendrick and it is a very dark comedy that tells this tale of Jerry, Ryan's, Ryan Reynolds character who um, basically suffers from mental health illness and he hears voices and these voices are generally coming from his dog and his cat there are some other things in the movie where he hears voices but it's generally his dog and his cat and it's like the devil and the angel scenario the dog's the angel telling him he's a good boy and the cat's evil telling him to kill um, and much of the movie um, is essentially Ryan Reynolds' Jerry character fighting against the evil, but unfortunately failing quite miserably in a lot of ways. Um, and if you watch the movie, you'll understand why. Um, now, I knew of this movie, and uh, when it when it first came out, I knew of it. I remember seeing um, the trailer and a couple of interviews at the time, and I thought it looked really interesting. I've been a big fan of Ryan Reynolds for many years and I've been a champion of his and I've been so praying for him to get a big hit because he so deserves it because he's had a few flops in his time. You know, the Green Lanterns, RIPDs, all that kind of stuff. And he's finally now at the top of the tree, uh, which he so deserves. Um, but what I remember looking at this trailer thinking it looked fantastic. And uh, I never managed to see it when it when it came out. I don't know, I probably forgot about it or I, I never saw it. Uh, it was never presented to me it's one of those movies that isn't like thrust into the limelight and I've just watched The Hitman's Bodyguard recently with Ryan Reynolds and what I tend to do when I watch movies is I'll sometimes look at the actors filmographies on IMDB just to remind myself of movies they've done um, and I saw the voices in Ryan Reynolds for, from 2014 and I thought oh god yeah really I wanted to watch that so I did I went, I've went. i been and got it and watched it um, and I have to say, I, f I really thoroughly enjoyed this movie. It was such a wonderful movie um, in so many different ways. Now, it's very, it's a very, very dark comedy. And I'll repeat that. Dark comedy. I mean, it is at times really very bleak. Um, the times when he's hearing the voices and he's talking to his dogs and his cats and some of the... Um, replies he gets back are, are, are hilarious it really really is but there are some parts in this movie that are truly very very dark and disturbing um, I mean he's he's keep constantly going and seeing his um, psychotherapist and she keeps pestering him to take his medications and he doesn't he's not taking his medications hence why he's hearing the voices and when he's not on his medications, he's, on, he's in this like glow. There's this, like this glow around him, and his apartment looks all lit up and glowy and tidy and nice. Um, and then there's a one point in the movie when he's already done something fairly despicable, and he decides he's going to take his meds because he doesn't want to be this person. So he takes his meds and he wakes up the following morning, and what you see, what you see, you see through his eyes. Is actually what the apartment really looks like when he's actually in reality, and it is properly disturbing. <laughs> um, it was a, it was an incredible scene, um, and this is what this movie is. It is it dances between light and dark more perfectly than I've seen in a movie for a long time. I think Get Out, which I saw earlier this year, was. Clot, very similar theme in regards to light and dark but this leans more heavily on comedy than horror um, but when it does go down the horror route this movie um, and the darkness that it shows it really really doesn't hold back and I have to say this is arguably Ryan Reynolds finest performance truly memorable um, I don't know how he manages it. He makes his character likable, but at the same, at the very same time, you despise him. Um, and 
I, I don't know how he managed to do it really as an actor. It's 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 very very hard to describe. When you watch it, you'll know what I mean. Very very impressive performance by Ryan Reynolds, um, and a very very impressive film. This uh, very very good to watch. Very enjoyable, um, but it's one of those movies where it's delightfully funny but also very very dark and you almost feel a little bit guilty about um the humor that you're laughing at in it sometimes so i really really strongly recommend this movie some incredible performances by everybody um really really impressive cast and a movie that i feel deserves to be seen it really really does um and I think a movie that Ryan Reynolds should be very, very proud of. And you must watch this movie.